Yeah, um, but I gotta. Good I don't God, have much buddy. room in here, and it's kind of dark. Can I love you to put a light on? <laughs> Tim, so I've got the camera facing at you, so if you just want to wave in the air, like you just don't care. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're here in Wisconsin for the Wisconsin Learn to Hunt program, and, and that right there is Tim Murdoch, a fantastic caller. And won't you tell us a quick little bit about yourself, Tim? And well, I'm from uh, Maple Fork, West Virginia. I've been turkey hunting about 33 years. Uh, been blind for totally blind for about three years. I got a real rare glaucoma plus an optic pit and the odds of me getting these two eye diseases is winning the mega lottery 10 weeks in a row or getting struck by lightning 420 times in a row but God is good to me and I've been blessed to go on this turkey hunt today and I ain't been behind the trigger for 11 years and I'm just thrilled at this opportunity to be able to hunt today well hopefully if everything goes well this morning it'll be zero years since you last killed a turkey <laughs> Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Randy has done some scouting, got us a blind set up out of the wind because it is cold this morning. What do you mean? It's 16 degrees. It's nice and warm <laughs> from Wisconsin. Yeah, about, about 13 degrees warmer it was in Nebraska. <laughs> but um, there should be some birds back here, and hopefully Tim's going to try and sweet talk one right up to the blind, and, and hopefully we'll have one here this morning. We can get back into well the blinds probably gonna be warmer than this pickup truck because there's no heat in this truck. <laughs> the birds are probably gonna be roosted in this wood lot but farther back and you can see I got a, a single Jake decoy. We decided to put one decoy. I'm, I mainly hunt with one Jake decoy anyway, but we wanted one object so Tim can have his gun pointed in that direction. And then when the birds come in, hopefully only one gobbler comes in so we don't have you know two or three close together. And it'll make a easier, slightly easier uh, situation of getting him aimed on this bird. So hopefully it works out. Haven't heard a gobble yet, but the birds are starting to sing. We're gonna slip into the blind here and let things wake up. All right, so Tim, it's all on you. Let's call one up for us. Sandhills, those are always a welcome noise. Yeah. He's closer. Let me turn the attack camera. That was in front of us. He might be popped out in a minute now. I mean, he wasn't that far away. He wasn't that far. He, he covered it all the way. Yep. He's 
Oh, he's, he's right here in the field to our left. He's coming down the wood line to our left. to the left. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Get on out there, thank Randy. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Is, oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. He was just too close the first time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just giving him a chance. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. This is so good. This is so good. It's been a long time. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do this again. Oh, mm -mm -mm. big old I'm a baby. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> the emotions, man. You just don't know. 7:30 at 7 o'clock on the dot, bud. That's that's so cool. I'm oh glad. Lord Jesus, <laughs> thank you. Part of this. This is a thank you, Shane. I appreciate this, brother. <laughs> you called him in. <laughs> I just I just held him around for the thank next you. shot. Yeah. <laughs> We tag teamed them. That's awesome, though, man. If there's somebody else I want to call with, it's you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That is long awesome. time, baby. Long time. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Mm, baby. Pretty. Reach out there and get a, get a handful of that beard. Let's see here. He's a heavy looking bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's hey, nice. Multiple beards? Is that multiple beards? Check that out. No, that's, that's definitely two. That's two. Two long beards. Really? That's great. When you went, reached down and grabbed it, I thought <laughs> it looked like some separation. Oh, boys. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate this so much. You just don't mind, man. So I don't little... think I, I don't think I introduced you to everyone well, earlier. <laughs> turn, turn to where I can get the sun on you. You're uh, Tim's I'm, daughter. Yep, I'm Kaylin. Kaylin. Yep. But well, we call her Kay. Yep, call Kay. Because she ain't had a hard time saying it, so we just call her Kay now. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, this, you you all recognize Randy Dumay. He was with us yesterday uh, with Tim Murdoch's hunt. And I know a question all, all of you are probably wondering is, how did we pull this off? So I'm gonna let Randy describe the setup of yesterday's hunt. So take it away, Randy. What we did is we have a red dot mounted on the shotgun, got a phone mount for a scope and put the cell phone on there in camera mode. So I could sit behind Tim and look over his shoulder to see where the gun was aiming. We had it on the pod like this, so he didn't have to move it a lot. We aimed it towards a decoy, so he just had to move it a very little bit. We worked out a system where I'd touch his right shoulder, left shoulder, up or down, or if the bird was far enough away, I could talk to him, and uh, and it ended up working out pretty good. Yep. <laughs> so, he, he managed to get a bird, and did. And so our hunt is over. Or my time here is up. The the hunt's still going on today. There's a few more birds. I think how many total birds? Ten birds so ten far. Bo uh, ten birds out of. 22 22 people hunting that's pretty good and the nice. day is not over it's just no, uh, the get birds, close to noon. birds really fired up today so i was on a, another kill this morning it was birds were hot yeah and i went out this morning myself and uh birds were acting like like they typically do when they want to frustrate you we had them around us but they were falling hens and uh, just just weren't acting right uh coming to the call but a lot of fun thanks again randy for inviting me out always, always a pleasure always this. welcome